Hello, we want to communicate an opportunity for everyone in our community to be a part of a response effort for the hurricane. A lot of devastation down south as we've been watching the news that's coming in. Uh, we're reminded, even the governor this morning, our governor reminded us that private organizations can be extremely agile, nimble, and go do some targeted help. And we want to be a part of that in two ways. Uh, physically, we want to be there. And also, we want to be there financially. And so we're going to be rolling out some details. There are a lot of links that are provided in the email that's being sent out to everyone or in the body of the information below on this uh, this social media site where you're watching this video. There's links where you can donate funds directly to some organizations financially, but also an opportunity for us to assess what tools we have to go and be a real help. And so uh, a lot of this is launching at the farmer's market on uh, the Commons at Trinity, right there at Generations Christian Church, our, our church tomorrow. We'll be launching, there'll be a booth out there where normally we just tell people about the church. I'll be present for the day, a lot of volunteers with some answers and we're not, we're not trying to accept or collect anything material, no goods right now, no water, nothing of that sort right now. Uh, we very well in the next day or two as we talk to sister churches that are going to need specific things, we'll be talking with them. But I want to give you just a couple of updates on how we're going to be helping physically. First, uh, New Day Christian Church, and you can check them out. Uh, this is a church where uh, there are people on our staff that know the executive pastor Mark there. I know Rusty Russell, who's the senior pastor of that church there. And our churches have had relationships and for years. It's an incredible church right there in Port Charlotte. And we're going to be trying to assist them. I mean, I can tell you as of this morning, the executive pastor's house, he still wasn't able to get back in, still underwater. They're going to be uniquely situated to help churches around their area and then farther south. And so we're going to be collecting names. Like, do you have a truck? Do you have a chainsaw? What, what do you, we're going to be collecting names. We would love to walk away from our community's gathering tomorrow, the farmer's market. We would love to walk away from Trinity Farmer's Market tomorrow with a list of names of people that say, hey, I can do one day or I can do a couple day trips. Uh, we're going to be organizing all of that. And so New Day Christian Church, their website is here in the body of this email. And you can check them out, get to know them. We really want to pour a lot of effort into physically being there and helping them so that they can help other people. That's that's a physical way. So we'll be putting teams together. But again, please understand, uh, we need to find out exactly what it is we need for this reason. Uh, IDES, that's uh, International Disaster Emergency System. IDES, I've known IDES since actually I was in high school. They're an Indianapolis organization, but they're, they're really a part of our tribe. IDES, dives in and they, they help around the world with any kind of natural disaster. And they're really set up for this. They're going to be on the ground here in about the next 24 hours at New Day Christian to assess the situation, help them get on their feet, help them start to get their people, their church ready, and then mobilize from there farther south and other churches in the re region. So one way that we can immediately and directly help is through IDES. You can give financially. Now, there are ways that you can sign up to serve with IDES and volunteer with them. That volunteer link is here in the body of this email. The individual donation link is there. And if you want to do like a weekly instead of a daily work with IDES, they can put you in like a more robust role, a longer, a longer role training. They are very good at this and uh, we love who they are. This is an opportunity for us to really do what we talk about all the time, which is serve first. And so if you want to come out tomorrow to the farmer's market and just have a conversation or I'll have updated information, I'm sure. I've been on the phone for the last 48 hours talking with different pastors around the state. How are we all working together to do something that's concentrated in the name of Jesus to serve and love people? And so physically going down there. And we're going to find out who's available when they're available and start putting those teams together. That will be happening, signing up tomorrow at the farmer's market and at, at church this weekend at our services. And then financially, uh, we'll be collecting funds that we can send directly to New Day Christian Church. And they're going to help all of the people in their community and then gift the excess back to IDES. And IDES will be helping everyone south of them and in their area. Or if right now, on this link, you can just say, I'm going to go there. I'm, I'm going to give. Uh, they're really good at what they do. So we want to partner with the best people. I know that uh, Metropolitan Ministries is right now launching food services. And I on the phone with them today, they said, we've got tons of volunteers for this weekend. Come Monday, dried up. 
And so if you go to Metro, their link is also in this email and sign up, try to staff them through next week. That would be great as they're providing food services. They're uniquely uh, able to do that. Uh, so, and here we're in the middle of a series on prayer. It's not like, and then all we can do is pray. That's the first thing. This is what I'll talk about this weekend. Our first thing that we can do is pray. Pray for uh, people, pray for broken homes and lives, and pray that the church can do what we're born to do, serve. So check out the links, uh, come by the farmer's market tomorrow. Let's talk about what we can all do together and put together a great plan to serve first.